What's with all the boxes? That is DBA crap. So this was populating this and about twice um, twice the amount of boxes that you see here. We actually downsized them a lot. Was it just populating Nicole's office, which by the way is only half the size of this office, and uh, she needed to get it out of there, so we spent most of the morning filing and shredding and stuff to try to downsize. How freaking cold do you think that is? So despite my failure with the Rubik's Cube last night, there are still lots of interesting things going on here today. So we just got a uh, shipment of business cards. Yay! Actually, I designed those and I'm quite happy with them. They're awesome. Awesome. How many times a week do I tell you that you're awesome? Pretty. About as you're awesome as awesome. you should. Thank you. <laughs> so besides that, when Nicole moved uh, her office next door, um, you guys have seen in other videos how you know close her office actually is. She had all of these boxes that came out of storage from the old space and uh, they were just cluttering up her office and she decided to come out here and lay them all out so that we could... You're going to get them out of here, right? Eventually. Eventually? <laughs> yes. So we gotta, we've been, uh, the past two days we've been filing and organizing and shredding and uh, trying, to, trying to get rid of this. So it's a bit of a, a, bit of a disaster zone in here right now. They've multiplied, and I don't—I don't know where they're coming from, and I don't know what to do with them. This is about recycling. If this is a newspaper article about us, different story. It's yeah, not. just no. I—I so. I just see it all as garbage, quite personally. Nine hundred commercials for oh eighteen thousand dollars. Look at how faded this piece of paper is. Me too. It's that old <gasps> and it's that thin. Now this we will keep. You've got to get these framed. Pretty cool. Who would have drawn these? I don't know. One of the coolest parts is going through all of these boxes and finding all of these old documents, um, like original incorporation documents and Tech original sign-up sheets and everything. And we've got old flyers, posters, um, oh, documents, so applications. Awesome. National Shoe Store. Check this out. It's crazy. I love it. That company is still around. It's crazy to see all these things that have changed since like the 1980s. And I bet you're still in the same location, isn't it? I would bet. National Shoe? Yeah. Awesome. One of the coolest parts is is seeing like some of the original board members are still business owners in this area. There aren't many, but still really cool. This is a membership list for the Chamber of Commerce. It's in a typewriter. It's awesome. What's a, what's a typewriter? I don't even know. <laughs> I can imagine it was really fun typing this up, though. Yeah, like, really. Look at this thing. Could you imagine making, like, making a mistake and having to go back? <laughs> that business closed. Can you remember from the list? <laughs> can you imagine? Side note, you know what that shirt makes me think of? Christmas, a candy cane. No, it makes me think that Where's Waldo is hidden in the North Pole. So cool! Nope. There. I just, I just found out on Broadway there's actually something called a Murley Building. There's no address though, so I have no way of knowing which one it is. All you have to do is go find a plaque. Discount store. Because in the each one of those plaques has what the original name of it was. If you keep going through those documents yeah. of it, you'll find something. Yeah. So. That's crazy. I gotta find out what that was. 
Ooh, it's some old pictures of Irving's store on Broadway. It doesn't really look like an Irving to me. My father, when he was in like uh, high school and university, worked at an Irving clothing store. So that's must be what that is. Oh my god, look at these cars. Oh my god, that's awesome. Look at that dude in the corner. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't think I know I him. Know <laughs> it's a small town. We're supposed to know everybody. <laughs> Matt, we hit the jackpot. Broadway, mini mall. Oh, my God. Okay. Look at this one. This one's all teens. National Shoe Store. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. We This is so awesome. So in the Broadway Mini Mall, that's the place where you always see uh, my friends and I going for brunch at Best Coast this Cafe. This is 86er right now, and the building looks nice there. <laughs> Look, this is where Village Music is right now. Matt, we can do a project with all this stuff. Yeah, we can. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is Speedy Automotive, and it's still there, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Look at that truck. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, this is old as the hills. Like, we just hit a gym. Not joking. Look at this. Where is this? What is this? Is this building still up? What is it? No, it's not. That building is not even there anymore, because that's the Scotiabank, right? Is it? Yes! Oh my god, it is! That building's right. not even there! Oh man. Oh my god. You better not tell anyone we got I'm this. not gonna tell it. Well, look at Scotiabank. I mean, it's gonna. Look at Scotiabank. I mean, I mean, it's gonna be in my vlog, but nobody watches that, so. When we were going through those old pictures, um, I sent a photo to my father uh, because I knew that he used to work at Coleman's Clothing Store, and he sent me back a text that said, um, I worked there in 1973-74 during high school. So this is a this is a keepsake box. This is a time capsule. I can definitely find something to do with this. And then of course follow up that text with a uh, selfie from Justin. Are we making any kind of progress here? I don't know, but we just hit the jackpot. I don't even care. Like <laughs> In case you ever need to create a document, make sure to follow this template. Oh my god. We have to keep all of this for some reason. <laughs> what do you want me to, what do you even, where am I supposed to put this? File it away. This is our folder of past projects. You just want me to stick it in here? The coolest files at the Downtown Business Association. I'm just like it's the time ca capsule contents of the Civic Center from 1977. It's, it's top secret. It's top secret. We can't show you what's in there. Oh my god! I'm so excited. Have you ever seen me so excited? No. I'm all excited all the uh, time. Maybe just when you maybe just when you saw the Christmas float. Can I get this out of the way? This yeah. is. I'll take it. Oh. So we finally cleared out all of that stuff from my office, and uh, uh -huh. as you can see, taking it to the recycling depot. So hopefully they'll take it, because I'm sick of it being in my office. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Me drive? I'm gonna have to adjust all your seats. <sighs> once again, volunteering for the Downtown Business Association. Uh, and once again, my CRV is full of boxes. This time it's all merch because we are uh, organizing the 
Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada 2018 being hosted here in Quarterbrook and uh, we are responsible for all of the merchandise. So. I mean, we just, my office, we just cleaned out your office, put it all in my office, and then we just managed to clean out my office. So what are we going to do? Make a mess in both of our offices. Oh, jeez. Can they just stay here? Can they just stay in the hallway? worst part about this entire thing is that we have an elevator. I don't know what's wrong with that, but I would really love to use it on Davis like today. I am so sick of looking at the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> 